Hi there. Today we're going to talk about music. Maybe we'll even review an album. Okay, let's just review an album by Fiery Dawn. Now let me tell you about Fiery Dawn. He makes music, all types of music. Some down tempo, some mid tempo, and some up tempo trances for certain. And I can only imagine there's a whole bunch of other stuff that he fucks around on just for fun. He's an artist after all. He's Georgie Shabgalidze. He's an artist who, like most artists out there, improves the more he makes music. It's called practice, but he just got better. And now he's tried out the ultimate stuff. A completely conceptual and partially collaborated album with some of the most spaciest cosmic fellas out there. It follows through with Global Sex Cosmic Compilations, The VA Space of Power, Mystery of the Crystal Worlds, and Terraformer. And Global Sex facilitated or organized or encouraged the process or, or did something. Huh? Global Sex. I've heard that name get tossed around lately. Yeah, well, let's open that can of space worms as well. I've said that Global Sex music might be the catalyst for the latest wave of Cosmic Gold Trance before, and maybe, just maybe, I'll explain why. Some other time. It's just kind of like we're all here now, so maybe just tell us about them. Ah, oh, shucks, all right. Well, it's simple. They have a philosophy behind their label that just works. They have an insatiably delicious appetite for increasing the expansion rate of the cosmos by over 27%. They put the effort into finding the crew, picking a captain, assigning hierarchical positions to deploy a chain of command, and then they pick the sharpest looking cosmic vessel, erect the masthead, and ignore the warnings of the first mate as they push the biggest button they can find on the control board. If it wasn't for them, we may not have been able to showcase the space age producers that are just so fucking good at what they do. And they deserve at least some credit for putting the amount of effort into the vision and execution of the ethos that drives them. Whatever. Now they fuck with Fiery Dawn and now Fiery Dawn fuck with them. The album is a wonder blast of exotically cosmic atmospheres and bangers. It's a testament to collaboration and the thundering pulses that Fiery Dawn has created with Alien Appa, Astronobis, good to see Astronobis again, Centevra Project, Mero, Atlantis, they got Paroxius for fuck's sake, as well as Cathedra and Sweet Sweet Vlad Cop. I don't know who's solely responsible for this and who was essentially making it come to work, but probably all of them. What I do love is seeing Fiery Dawn's name slapped on the title. And other than the cover art, what else I love is the smart use of periphery sounds and the added depth created through the storytelling of this astronomical wizard. While ground control to Major Tom with Track 1's optimistic anticipation for the journey ahead as this solo astronaut prepares for big cosmic adventures. Nothing but positivity for the beginning of this journey as clearly we're still seen on the outskirts of deep space with great radio transmission and clear memories of the past world that we're leaving behind. This is quickly shattered during Track 2's lonely atmosphere of distant space screams as things go wrong quickly for our celestial transient. It might be the most intricate of the tracks on the first CD, in my opinion. It has what sounds like squeaky twists of space rubber sneaking in around the highs of the track and a bunch of other really cleverly placed sounds scattered around it. Our little astro gentleman is in the thick of it now. It certainly didn't take long at all for things to take a turn as Fiery Dawn takes control of our clavicles and neurons and drops space dump truck after space dump trunk of aluminium badonkadonks into our prefrontal processes. And I don't want to overstate, but Phase featuring Atlantis and Astronobis is one big fucking Paroto cluster of colourful fuck yeahs. Fuck yeah! 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 The final explosion I did not see coming and honestly wouldn't have even thought that it would have been possible to take this track up to the next octave the way that these three madmen did. Now over to me to talk about Inside the Lunar Crater. Thanks and hi, it's me. Now I know that we all hate being told what to do. I get it. But while you're busy doing your own thing, don't forget to scream in ecstasy and throw glassware and excitement off your balcony when you hear Mero and Fiery Dawn take us down to old school town with Inside the Lunar Crater. This track synergizes me with the earth and the cosmos while providing me with the sensation of floating into some big fuck off hole created through asteroidal impact on that big moon that keeps on protecting us despite all of our bullshit. It has the wild silky smoothness of the mirror we saw in the last Global Set compilation, as well as some hot, spicy, fiery rhythms. I don't know if it's the power of the adepts or what's what, really, but Global Set Mero and Fiery Dawn are smooth fucking operators. The track's certainly a favorite and one of those songs that you find more and more in every time you listen to it. Now over to me again. Wow, thank you very much. You're doing a great job so far. Well, that's very nice to say. Thank you very much. We should just jump right into that fire in Atlantis with that elastic, martial artistic, meditationalistic creative power. The main melody that sounds like it has Atlantis written all over it gives me tingles in my Udana Vayu. Before shifting all of the peace of the Tata Sada through my Samana Vayu. The flickering acid that rises up from underneath to the heights of a new melody and the series of different leads that spin that melody into the dark depths of the oxygen depleted cosmos really helps me with my Kalari Piyati. 
It's old Prana, baby, and it's old Piranha with me. But we aren't done yet. Oh no, 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 no. We still have the ridiculously psychotic builds and flailing melodies heard in the Alien Appa collab screaming through the universe. No fucking kidding. If the universe didn't hear, engage with, and understand this track, then maybe Nietzsche was right, and we really did off God and become it ourselves. The final melody sounds like it could collapse in on itself and create a planet-eating black hole at any moment. It's dangerous, edgy, and a little bit deadly. It's absolutely out of control and would not be approved by any regulatory body for anything, ever. Another thing that I really love about this album is the selection and successful integration of individual artists, individual sounds and styles. It's just fantastic. For example, Centevra Project and Fiery Dawn give us a taste of up and down wobbled melodies that turn into explosively ecstatic supernovas of acidic planetoids scattered with interstellar pads and patterns. A few deep screams from our lost astronaut greet us in the distance as we continue to enjoy our trip into the ever-expanding great expanse of loneliness and seclusion. And if we're even going to have a leptin heads of a chance at fairly explaining the Proxius remix, then we're going to require some visual representation. So it starts here, which is already like 50,000 meters above sea level. That's pretty high. But then it spins itself and your mind along with it up here, around and around like that in a solar storm that spits you out exactly here, 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 and here. And that is just in the first act. Then it does it again and again. Here, 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 and here. Yep, that's how it is. Wild as fuck. Another favorite from the album. The solo track, aptly named Dimension X, brings in all of Fiery Dawn's new groovy tricks to show us that he doesn't need friends to throw a party. He just likes their company. Acid in my mouth, acid in my ears, and acid in my fucking kitchen sink. All bring this track into four dimensional funk territory. It's detailed, it's got the cool factor, and it wears glasses indoors with a big beach hat. The final solo track proves what I've been thinking to myself for a while, and that's that we can say what we want about devastatingly horrible global worldwide pandemics. I don't care what you say, whatever you want is fine by me. Let it out. But dang nugget, it's been great for music production. Nothing but time and a little bit of anxiety is all that artists needed to expand their sound. The solo tracks, as well as the collabs, but especially the solo ones, all bring the theme of this album together. The final track proves that as the clouds of space magnesium settle, as the cosmic temple of the adepts is reached for the final leg of the journey. It feels like the track might be a little bit more chill for a second, but the space magnesium settles on top of some oxygen, which creates a bright, burning light. The while nice to be near can hardly be considered a reprieve for a little interstellar fella. If I had to summarize the album in a couple of words, I'd say something like it's fucking amazing. There's no doubt that having the global set touch adds something special to what these artists are doing. I don't know if we've just got more time on our hands. I don't know if we're not distracted with all the parties that we can't go to. But god damn it. Almost every album I've heard in the last year has been some of the best works I've heard from those artists ever. And this is the same. It's cosmic, it's gorgeous, it's magnetic, it's electric, it's got solar pulses of flares flying all over the place. And there's more to say, of course there's more to say, but we have a second half to tackle, and I hate it when people just prattle on. It's just such a pain having to listen to someone go on and on and on and on, telling you about this and telling you about that in some long, drawn out way that could easily be condensed down into a couple of sentences, rather than entire soliloquies to no one in particular. Cause come on, time is precious and all we really have. And what is more annoying and pretentious than some guy who just won't shut the fuck up? I only have so much time and I really gotta be here listening to you. Just get to the point please. I'm busy, time is waning and sooner or later I know that this is gonna get preachy. And I don't wanna become preachy at you. But one of the things that we really need to understand is that sooner or later, everything is what it is. And sometimes what it is is down-tempo trance on the second part of an album. But that's for part two. And this is part one. Whoa, so this isn't part two? No, not part two. Wait, what if we did that crazy idea that we had the other Goodbye. day? Goodbye.